Hey, what's up YouTube? Here's a quick video to explain how to migrate assets from one Unreal Engine project to another because that seems to cause a lot of confusion. So I guess there's two ways to migrate assets. The first one is to, well, use the migrate tool. Now, this tool used to be quite broken in Unreal Engine 4. It would always break references to blueprint structures, to material functions, despite correctly migrating those assets, right? So I used to dislike that tool quite a bit. But having tried it in Unreal Engine 5 for the purpose of this video, it now seems to be working perfectly fine. I tried and couldn't reproduce any issues I had in 4.27, so it looks like it's a viable option now and that's great news. So you can right click on any asset and choose migrate. You may also prefer having everything in a folder first and migrate that entire folder instead of a selection of assets. The migration tool will then look up for dependencies and include them, meaning if you're trying to, say, migrate a mesh that uses a material and that material isn't part of the assets you're trying to migrate, well, that material will be included as a dependency. Note that you have the option to not include some of these dependencies, but it's very likely to cause issues, obviously those are dependencies after all, so I'd recommend to always migrate everything that is suggested in that list. Then search for the Unreal Engine project you want to migrate to, and look for its content folder, and voila, let the migration process do its thing, and those assets should immediately show up in that other project. Now, you may want to inspect those assets, like if you migrated blueprints, you may want to open them and make sure they all compile just fine and that no references to external assets, like blueprint structures, if they had any, broke because it used to be a huge issue. Again, it seems to be fixed in Unreal Engine 5, but you never know. Hopefully, nothing broke and voila, that's pretty much it. Now, there's a second technique to migrate content, one that involves a little bit of moving things around and that can be annoying, but it certainly has its benefits as well. I'm talking about plugins. So go to plugins here, click add, create a new content plugin, give it a name and proceed. Then you need to move all assets you want to migrate to this newly created plugin folder. Now, you'll need to move any dependencies yourself as well, and that may take a minute or two. You might use a migrate tool on an asset just to check what's listed as a dependency and make that process a bit easier. Also, keep in mind that Unreal Engine may create redirectors when moving assets that are referenced by other assets, such as levels. So you may want to either enable redirectors here and right click on a redirector if you have any after having moved an asset and call fix redirector, or easier right click on a folder and call fix all redirectors. If you're unfamiliar with redirectors, well, let's say they are necessary evil. Don't worry too much about it though. Here I just make sure to fix any redirector when moving things to that plugin if any pops up, just to be on the safer side. Once you're done, once you're sure you included everything that you wanted in your plugin, all there is left to do is to go to your Unreal Engine project folder. You should see a plugins directory with a subdirectory having the name of your plugin. Right click copy, go to your other Unreal Engine project, if necessary create the plugins plural folder and paste. Launch your project and voila, all your assets are included in that plugin and as long as you've included all necessary dependencies, it's guaranteed to work. It's also great when you're working remotely on a project for a studio or something and you don't have access to the main Unreal Engine project, you do your work inside a plugin in your own project, zip that plugin folder and send it and boom, done. All that studio has to do is unzip it and voila. And that's pretty much it. Now, when it comes to the Unreal Engine projects I release on my Patreon, I tend to create a plugin for each one, well, when it makes sense to do so, to ease that migration process, because again, the migrate tool used to not really be an option. However, to keep the plugin minimal, I tend to only include the core components, meaning that I often create demo content to showcase a specific system, right? And I don't want to assume that someone making use of that system, of that plugin, will want to have that plugin cluttered with demo assets, right? Thus, why I only include the system itself and not any extra content in the plugin. However, sometimes it can lead to some confusion, like here in my Gersner Waves demo project. That project is mostly demo content, showcasing what you can do with Gersner Waves. The plugin itself then contains the absolute strict minimum to work with Gersner Waves, mainly material functions, right? And so what I personally chose to build and showcase with those functions is something I consider to be demo content and thus isn't part of the plugin. 
If you like some of that demo content and want to include it as is in your project, well then feel free to move all those assets and their dependencies to the plugin before copying it. Voila, I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support. Consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you liked the content. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself. Bye bye!